What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Collected Beard. Let's go around. Be taking a look at the second episode, Ain't Half Hot Mom. Absolutely love the first episode. I love the way it ended with the, the the dung being thrown on the Sergeant Major, his reaction to it. I just, the dynamic between all these characters, at least in the very first episode, I'm interested to see how this show progresses. I'm interested to see the, the way the character development happens in this, because especially with the Sergeant Major, his brash embrace of nature, the way he yells at everything, shut up, you know, they call him, you know, Sergeant shut up or whatever. Between that and the ones that are taken and putting on the plays and stuff like that, and the natives in the show, I, I'm 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 wanting to see the character development and how the show goes because I find the first episode was absolutely hilarious, completely just like I say, y'all got much better shows than what we got over here in the U.S. So. <laughs> Why are you cleaning Sergeant Major Saab's boot? That is not your job. You're a top hold bearer to the concert party. Oh, I'm well aware of that, my good fellow. But Sergeant Major Saab's bearer Patel has gone to cinema. Oh, what flick they're showing? Very powerful story. All about a beautiful young prince who goes riding on a beautiful white horse. And he meets a beautiful young princess. And he fall in love with her. But she not fall in love with him. So he ride away into sunset. He'd run for five hours. <laughs> and he's packed with ecstasy and enchantment. I'm reading all about it in the newspaper. What's that? I'm also reading that General Montgomery has reached Berlin. Perhaps the war will be over in a very soon time. Oh my gosh, this is tough old news. He's a wonderful man, this one Gemeri Saab. With him leading us, we British are bound to win war. But it also says when the war is over, the British will leave India and the Congress party will take over. Oh, what Tommy Rat. They are troublemakers, this Congress party. They are nothing but one big damn bunch of coolies. <laughs> <laughs> if we British leave India, it will be disaster. What will happen to you natives, huh? How will you earn your living? Who will you sell your tea to? Huh? Indian troops? No, they will not drink that muck. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the play between like his, the way he sees himself and the way he calls like natives. I mean, that's it's an interesting dynamic. Please leave. I shall also go home. I'm telling you, it is ill wind that blows up nobody's creek. <laughs> will you take your wife with you? Oh, of course not. I will do what other Sabs do. One over there, one over here. <laughs> <laughs> like the Sergeant Sabs BB there. It is not the same one that I sometimes see him with in the bazaar. The one in the bazaar is much darker. Ah, this must be his blighty one. Oh, what beautiful English flower, huh? Charwala, Charwala, Oh, I must go, Ranji. Duty is calling. Salam. Acha, salam, Mohammed. We need. We shouldn't be doing this at all. We are the concert party. Old Sergeant Major Shut Up must be mad. He is mad. He's been out here too long. He's got the doolally tap. <laughs> 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 the looks on their faces. <laughs> Does everybody that's been stationed out here in Dulali for a long time get the Dulali tap? Pretty well, everyone, yeah. I don't think my mother's going to like that. <laughs> you know, when I get back home to Glasgow and she finds I'm stark raving mad, I shouldn't think she'll notice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm resigning from the concert party. Do you want to get posted back to the jungle? Well, at least it won't be whitewashed. Listen, sunshine, the only thing that keeps us here is the fact that we're in the concert party and the colonel thinks it's good for morale. So it's either the sergeant major and his whitewash brush or the Japanese... <laughs> so, number one, this, this cat plays such a diva. And number two, talking about the sergeant major wants to whitewash everything. Talking about even, even whitewash the natives. Like, you got to be pretty well sick and tired of all the, all the hullabaloo from that ser sergeant major. But yeah, the the whitewashing of the, of the stones and everything like that. I mean, that's the only thing. Whenever you're stationed somewhere, if you don't have a whole lot to do, we'll go paint everything white. But we painted it white two weeks ago. It started to fade. Paint it white again. 
Where are you going? Tomorrow afternoon, a place called SM. Oh, cool. Eight weeks jungle training. Sab, goodness sake, please say something to cheer him up, because he's very, very sad. Yeah. Yeah. Look, uh, don't worry, sunshine. It's not as bad as all that. What's it like up in the jungle? Well, oh, it's horrible. Oh, snakes and creepy crawly things. Yeah. Oh, well done. Now, now, look, it's not all that bad. Just uh, remember to tuck in your mosquito net at night and you'll be fine. He's right, Sab. It is really quite jolly in jungle. <laughs> All the same, I much prefer to stay here with you lot. Now, we'd like to have you, son, but we can't. I mean, we're all artists, you see. And I'm sorry, but you're not. Oh, no. I've got two left feet and I can't even sing in tune. <laughs> Anyhow, I, I must say, I think you're a nice crowd of fellas. You're sort of different. Not like normal blokes. <laughs> <laughs> and joking and having fun. And I've really enjoyed myself here. I I'm going to miss you a lot. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, no, sir. Oh, my God, fathers. What's the matter? Oh, no, no, nothing, sir. I was just uh, struck dumb by her beauty. <laughs> yeah, she is lovely. Oh, if I may be allowed to say so, sir, I do like that jacket you're wearing. Oh, do you really? It's just something the Dursley knocked up. There's nothing special. Oh, I realise that, but it's the way you wear it that's important. I mean, you've got to have the figure to wear clothes, and uh, you have got that figure, hasn't he? Oh, yes, of course, yes. It, it sits beautifully on the colonel's shoulders, sir. Bleeding crawlers. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how's the show going? Oh, we're putting in a new number, sir. Yes, sir, it's called A Pretty Girl is Like a Melody. Yeah. All the blokes come down the stairs dressed as your favourite film stars. Uh, what film stars? Oh, Rita Hayworth, uh, Betty Grable, Jane Russell, uh, Esther Williams, uh, Ginger Rogers. <gasps> You've been there all but dressed up as girls? That's right, sir. Disgusting. <laughs> of course, uh, I'm Ginger Rogers, sir. It's... <laughs> it's funny because stuff like this happened. Like, they, they had to do stuff like that as improvisation. Now, of course, the portrayal by these fellas is... I'm sure that happened, too. Just saying, because you, you around a bunch of men for a long time. Folks, uh... You find out how they are. Back then, stuff like that wasn't accepted, though. What do you want, Bera? I'm here to stop. I must ask you something of great urgentness. I have such a weight on my mind, I cannot sleep. You got some bibby into trouble? I'm here to stop. Nothing like that. But I must ask you one question at risk of incurring your terrible wrath. But the beautiful lady in the photograph is, is she one saint, Saab? A what? Is she a saint? Oh, yes. She is a saint. That's the only woman I ever loved. I haven't seen her for 20 years. How dare you? Oh. What the hell's it got to do with you? Oh, tell me to tell me, you're greasing my shirt and you're also strangling me. <laughs> Come here, stop. I must show you this photograph. Where'd you get this? From parking, stop, stop. Are you a loose waller? Oh, no, sir, not loose waller. I only took it to show it to you. you know, where could Parkins have got a photo of? His mother, Sergeant Major Sapp. Oh, oh. <laughs> Apparently he got a kid he ain't know about. I ain't seen her for 20 years. Now boy's in the army. Oh, ho, oh, oh. How you gonna send him out for training? Parkins. Name of mother? Edith. When was he born? Coach. Colchester. <laughs> October the 2nd, 1925. October, September, August, July. <laughs> January. It's the New Year's Eve dance. Oh, glory be. What happened after Barca? Two days later, I was posted overseas and. I got a letter saying she'd marry this bloke. I never saw her again. Oh, Sergeant Major Sarp, it is wise water buffalo that knows his own sport. <laughs> My little boy. Oh, hell. See, this is the kind of stuff right here. That's what I'm talking about, the character development stuff. I'm, I'm, I cannot wait to see it as this goes further, because something tells me this ain't gonna work out quite the way he's thinking but then again just the, the beaming pride after something from somebody who's such a seemingly a hard ass you're in Doolally better 
If you breathe a word of this to anybody, I'll screw your head off. Thank <laughs> you, Major Sapp. Don't speak to me as if I were some damn native. I'm a British gentleman as you are, and I know the court. One must never mention a lady's name who is in a mess. <laughs> your secret is safe with me, sir. Totally, honestly. My son, here in India. I'm sending him up the jungle tomorrow. But can you not get him taken out of the draft, Sergeant Major Sapp? Of course I can't. The Colonel want to know the reason why. I'd have to have a reason for stopping his posting. Get him a job on the camp that's important to the Colonel. What's important to the Colonel and what does he like best? That nice, round, soft lady who runs WVS, Mrs. Waddy Love Evans. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Oh, a thousand apologies, Sergeant Major Sapp. I have broken... The concert people, the, the, the ones that are singing. Put them in the show. British Court of Honor and I have mentioned lady's name who is in a mess. <laughs> How can I be punished? Oh, may my chapatis turn to dust. <laughs> Shut up, will you? I'm trying to think. There must be a way of stopping Parkins getting posted. I've got it, Sergeant Major Sapp. What? Concert party. What? Concert party. You know how Colonel Saab likes concert party. You could put Parkin Saab in it, and that would prevent him from getting posted. Don't be absurd. Parkins can't sing. Can't dance. Can't do anything. Listen to this, Sergeant Major Saab. Are you in the Barkers? Yes, I'm in the Barkers. <laughs> do you want to come out? Yes, I want to come out. <laughs> Are you going to be good boy? Yes, I'm going to be good boy. <laughs> <laughs> you got my better. <laughs> Sergeant Major Saab, don't you remember the little soldier that Smith Saab used to put on his knee and talk to? Oh, you mean the ventriloquist dummy? Gee, Saab. Gunner Smith Saab left it behind when he went home to Blighty. And it is now in the theater in a suitcase. And there are some papers with it with funny words on. Gunner Parkin could put the little fellow on his knee. You grasp the pole at the base of the dummy's head firmly with the operational hand. You then rotate the head in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction as required. At the same time, work in the lips by moving the lever up and down with the extended thumb. You got that? I think so, Sergeant Major. Right. Sit down with her. You have a go. Just a minute now. Sit that dummy up straight. He's slum again. <laughs> I won't have a slumming in dummy. You're supposed to be a soldier. <laughs> good morning, Tommy, and how are you? Good, good. I'm all right, sir, and how are you? I said, no! <laughs> you got it wrong. The dummy's lips move, not yours. Again. Good morning, Tommy, and how are you? Good. I'm all right, sir. And how are As you? As it were. <laughs> your lips are moving. I will not have your lips moving. But I can't stop them moving. <laughs> if I say your lips won't move, they won't move. Now, that's an order. <laughs> but I don't want to be a ventriloquist. If I say you're going to be a ventriloquist, <laughs> you are going to be a ventriloquist if we have to stay here all night. I'll start again and sit that dummy up straight. <laughs> Good morning, Tommy. And how are you? I'm all right, sir. And how are you? Again. Good morning, Tommy. And how are you? I'm all right, sir. How are you? Good morning, Tommy. And how are you? <laughs> that one wink. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh dear God. That's one way of getting it accomplished, I guess. What? Back on Solly. <laughs> Solly go and tell some jokes. Christ, him, stop making. Oh, just up. Hey, he, he, it won't move, sir. It is his stuck. Oh. Oh. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh. Oh, please, please, 
Krishna, I beg you, send one miracle. Just one is small miracle. I'm sorry, Bumpy. I'm afraid I shall have to stop the show. I have rather an important announcement. <laughs> some wonderful news. <coughs> I have just received this signal that the Germans have surrendered. The war in Europe is over. Saved? <laughs> like big time because he was flopping hard like he was flopping harder than a fish that's up on land. Does that mean we can all go home? One place you're going, lovely boy. Up the jungle. And all the rest of you pansies. Them Germans may have surrendered, but we still got them Japanese to deal with. We're gonna fight them, fight them, and beat them. We'll teach them to lay their dirty yellow hands on our lovely empire. <laughs> Wasn't me, Sergeant Major, sir? It was him. Shut up, naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there we have it, episode two of Ain't Hot Hop, Ain't Half Hot Mom. Got to see a little bit of the softer side. Well, if you want to call it softer side of Sergeant Major. More of we got to see Sergeant Major be proud of being of something other than being a sergeant major trying to you know with the with the oh crap that's his mom and that's the woman that you know he fell in love with 20 years ago and trying to get him figure out a way for him to take and stay instead of sending him to the jungle for the training and oh i love this this it shows something else this is funny i like this uh like i said i i'm still i i can't wait to see the character development as the saying goes um, Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.